So we're here with Malik Yakini, Detroit Black Community Food Security Network. Um, just want to get you to expound on the difference between food access programs and food justice programs. So first piece from the Detroit Greetings from Detroit. I'm here live and direct in Richmond, Virginia. So food access at its most basic level means making sure that people have uh, food security, have access to adequate amounts of food so that they're not hungry. Some people add to that definition culturally appropriate food, but that is not enough. So in black communities in particular, we're concerned about not just having access to food, but having ownership of the way that food is distributed, right? So we're not interested in other people coming into our communities, opening stores and just providing places where we can be consumers and spend our money. We want to actually own the places that are selling the food. And ultimately, we want a food system that we control so that we have benefit from all levels of the food system. A lot of times when people talk about food justice, they leave out the economic component. But there's millions of dollars leaking out of black communities throughout the United States as a result of other ethnic groups coming in our communities. They might be providing access, but we don't have ownership and control. So food justice also involves not just it being treated justly by the people we're going to buy food from, but it involves us also having the just economic benefit from the money that we're spending in stores in our, in our neighborhood.